good guys here to fix the reactor? Yeah, we'll fix it. What up? This is Tony from Municipal Waste, and you're watching Search and Destroy, bitch. Amazing. Um, Phil might not be too stoked right now because he ate, uh, he got food poisoning. He ate a sandwich like that was sitting out. He's been pooping and barfing all day. So, But uh, I, I like it a lot. The shows have been really cool. We only played one show it was last night, it's Guadalajara, and uh, the show's nuts. People here are really passionate about music and it's crazy. Well, we usually write right after we finish an album. Like, I would say, I mean, a couple of years, just because the way we the way we write, we tour and then we go and just practice and then we come and go back on tour. And then, so, but basically, we, we had about half the album written and then busted out the other half within like a three month time. Like, we were just like, all right, we're not gonna tour for a few months. Let's write an album. And uh, that's my favorite time is, is the writing process because it's. It's just fun to be creative and stay home and not tour all the time. <laughs> With us, I mean, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the bands he does. I like Hatebreed a lot. Uh, I'm not really, I'm not a big metalcore guy or anything like that, but um, the thing with Zeus is, is that he, he loves thrash and that's what he grew up, grew up listening to. And you know, like one of his favorite bands is Corner and shit. You know, like, and not a lot of people don't know that about him. But well, when we when we met, we hit it off right off the bat, and it was kind of like hanging out with a bro, like somebody you know. So we were just like, well, let's do a record, man. He's like, I want to record you guys. Let me fucking do it. And uh, you know, the guy, I don't know if I should say this, but he's taken huge pay cuts to work with us, just because he loves the music. He's not he's not one of those fucking you know producers that's doing it for the money he, he really makes a lot of sacrifices to do what he's doing he's got he got he's got kids to feed and, and uh, he, he does what he, he does to take care of them and also does what he does because he loves the music too so he's, he's a great guy Not a lot of people say that. I, I think that was a great compliment. Uh, we met the guys in Machine Head. <laughs> and uh, I guess Phil, Phil came up to Ryan and was like, you're the guy who stole all my riffs. Like, you know, joking. And uh, Ryan's like, no, I politely borrowed them. <laughs> so, but uh, these guys, uh, they're great. Yeah, huge influence on us. And um, really, really fun guys to hang out with. Yeah. <laughs> I like the Aldana. Which is which is cool, like, you know. Well, I like the band before that, but uh, I'm, I'm more of a Belladonna guy. I, I just think it's fun. It's more fun to listen to and they just have Among the Living is my jam. <laughs> yeah, John's back in it now. I, you never know. You never know what's going on with him. Yeah, I, you know, I, I heard Belladonna was back in it, and then I heard they had some new guy, and uh, then I heard, like, well, I just now heard that. So, cool. let me sing for y'all, man. Try me out. No, that would suck, probably. But <laughs> Those songs are too long, man. I can't sing that long. I'll fucking pass out. Oh yeah, man. Well, it was. I remember reading a review of uh, Hazardous Mutation, and there's a guy. His name's Ian, and I actually knew the guy. Uh, and he was like, "Oh well, you know, it's it's a shame, but it seems like Thrash is just a fad, and you know, we'll see where Municipal Waste is three years from now." And I think he put that record out five years ago. So there you go, Ian. But it's too late. You should have 
That's I. We've been wanting to do it forever. I mean, like, we never really had the opportunities where it was it was gonna be worth coming down here. Like, we didn't really, we weren't really familiar with how to how to book a proper tour here. Usually, like, with Europe and Australia and everywhere else we've been, Canada. Like, we we, we figure it takes us a while to figure it out, and then we do it. And um, we've been getting mail from people here every day for years. I mean, years, and probably since Hazardous came out. And uh, it's great to finally make it down here. I'm, I'm so I'm so stoked to be here. Like you have no idea. That's probably why I'm laughing so much. I think the look. I think that I think the fact that people think they have to look a certain way. And maybe I'm a hypocrite right now. I don't know. I, people tell me I look like a thrasher. I really don't. I think I'm like fans, and I wear a bandana because when I sing, my hair gets in my fucking face all the time. I've been wearing a bandana before I was in a thrash band. I don't know. But anyway, but I think the cliche, like, I don't think you need to dress a certain way. I, I think you should just be yourself and play, play the music you love. I remember being younger and uh, seeing when Helmet first came out. And they were like, when Mean Time came out, like that was such like a heavy album to me. Like I was pretty young, and uh, I was like, what the fuck are these preppy jock guys playing fucking like heavy music like this? It really confused me. But I, I thought they were cool as shit. I respected them because they didn't really try to dress a certain way. They just fucking do what they do. You know? Look at Dave. Dave dresses like my dad. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. He's gonna punch me during our set. Man, glad to be here, and uh, it's gonna be really fun. And there's Ryan. <laughs> but yeah, we're here. We made it. Finally, we made it. Hope we don't suck. Search and destroy.